Today, I would like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of sodium sulfide. It's such an easy process with this table that I've made. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing is we're going to write the elements down that we see. So we got sodium, Na, and we got sulfur. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. If there's no subscript at the bottom of the element, just put in a 1. That means we've got 2 sodium, 1 sulfur. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. We need the periodic table for that. So sodium is 22.99, sulfur is 32.07, so that's what, what we're going to write down. So 22.99 for sodium, 30, 32.07 for sulfur. And then to find the total mass of the element in the compound, just simply multiply this row on a cross. So for sodium, that's 45.98 units of mass. And then for sulfur, 32.07 units, okay? And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, we simply just need to add this column on up. See how nice and easy that is? So that's going to be 78.05. And the units there are AMU because we're solving for atomic mass units. Easy peasy, right? That's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Check out our channel. See you soon.